Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to this planet. He came to this earth 2,000 years ago. And it was God's wonderful plan for mankind, for all of us, for all the people of Papua for all the people of Australia, for all the people of all the countries all around the world. God has no respect for a person. That's right. He doesn't judge people. He looks at everyone the same. His love is amazing. And He loves every one of you. He loves you, brother. He loves you so much. He loves you, brother, so much. He loves everyone. And His plan to save mankind from sin was to send Jesus Christ to the cross. That's right. And when Jesus was nailed on that cross, He took the, he took the punishment of the whole world's sin upon Himself on that cross. And when He died on that cross, He made a way for every one of us to step into glory, to step into life. And the way through, Jesus says, I am the door. Right. Jesus, the Son of God, He paid the ultimate price, and it was love that held Him to that cross. It was God's unfailing love that held Him to that cross, because He saw that the day would come, that as a result of what Jesus did on the cross, every one of you may step into heaven. Every one of you may, may, may spend an eternity with, with a loving God. Yes and not have to perish. That's right. And this is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Is this good news? Yeah. I'll ask yes. you this yes. Who says this is good news? Raise your hands if this is good news. Do you know that what I'm saying is the truth? Yes. Or is what I'm saying, is this just a lie? Because if this is a lie, I'm wasting my time being here. But I want to tell you that 10 years ago, my life was absolute misery. My life was, I was in a place in life where my life was destroyed. I'd been a drug addict. I'd abused myself through drugs and alcohol and all these things. Doing many, many sinful things. And sin has an effect on the body. Sin destroys, the Bible says that that the, the wages of sin is death. That's right. Yes. But God's amazing gift is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And God has a gift He wants to give everyone here today. The gift of eternal life. And it doesn't just mean that when you die, you go to heaven. It means that. But it means also right here, right now, living today in Papua New Guinea, you can have life. You can experience the life of Christ. The Bible says that he who has the Son has life. Yes. He who does not have the Son does not have life. That's correct. And I want to tell you, Jesus Christ came into my life 10 years ago and he absolutely touched my life with his love, with his power, with his goodness. Preach it, brother. He transformed my life in such a powerful way. He filled me with hope. He filled me with peace. He filled me with joy. He gave me a purpose in this life. He gave me a purpose to live for. The Bible says that God was in Jesus Christ reconciling the world to himself through Jesus. So God, through Jesus, was calling mankind to himself through Jesus. And in the same way, God is in my life and he is pleading with you today. He's pleading and he's saying, come home, children. My love for you is so great. I died for you. I died for you. But the wonderful thing was, hallelujah, he did not stay in the grave. The Bible says he was three days in the grave. And then the wonderful Holy Spirit raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And the resurrection power of God raised Christ. And now Jesus is alive in heaven. And he's seated at the right hand of God on the throne. And he lives forevermore. And he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to receive all the glory and all the honor. 
and all the praise. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, the center of all things, the one whom we should build our lives upon. Jesus Christ is the rock on which we stand. All other ground is shifting sand. Jesus Christ is our rock and our fortress and our salvation. And his love for you is so great. There comes a day where all mankind will stand before the Almighty. The Bible says that it is appointed for man to die once. And after this, the judgment. One day, everyone, every one of us, will breathe our last breath. And we will step out of this body, and our spirits will go to one of two places. Heaven or hell. But the wonderful blood of Jesus Christ that was poured out on that cross at Calvary made a way for the sins of humanity to be oh. cleansed oh, from all sins. Yeah. God's goodness, God's love. He has paid the price, He's been paid in full. And now He's looking for people to come. He wants to breathe life into you. He wants your spirit to be born again. He wants to give you a nature like Christ. He wants to give you a new, born again, spiritual nature that is true, that is love, that is life. He wants to empower you with His spirit that you can truly walk for Him and be a Christian, walking in love. How many here have heard the good news today? Is this good news? Come on. Praise you, Jesus. God's amazing love. Number one. Come on this side of the line. Come. 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 Come, 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 come. Please. Come. Amen. There's a line in the sand today. There's a line here. Come, come to the kingdom. Come. God is pleading with you today. Come into the kingdom. Make a declaration before God. The Bible says that if you confess Jesus Christ before man, he will confess you before the Father. But if you do not confess Jesus Christ before man, he will not confess you before the Father. Jesus Christ is not one to be ashamed of. Give all my past sins. Give all my sins. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. I thank you. You've made me a new person. I thank you. You've made me a new person. And I have this joy in my heart. And I have this joy in my heart that I'm going to spend eternity in heaven with you. I'm going to spend eternity in heaven with you. Amen. Amen.